Hey. Yes, Steven! Woo! Uh, good evening, y'all. I'm a fake news anchor and a real-life devil's lettuce, Stephen Morvant. This isn't a reference to drugs. I'm just really old and have been hanging out in the back of some guy's fridge for the past few weeks. I was going to take a shower before I got here, but uh, that didn't really work out. This is what we missed, the part of the show where I cover topics we failed to predict while adjusting our points for the predictions we did make. We're like fortune tellers, man. Pretty cool. Keanu Reeves has just gone public with his first girlfriend in uh, decades. Him being the perfect man he is, opted for an age-appropriate lover. Sorry, Logan Longoria, but you won't be getting any of his John Wick anytime soon. He's uh, moved on to the bigger and older things. All right, my guy's texting me. We'll pick up at your place later. So uh, a Nigerian film, Lionheart, has been pulled from contention for best foreign film by the Academy on the grounds that the vast majority of the film was in English. I say that it serves them right for stealing from our culture. <laughs> Beto O'Rourke, former Democratic candidate and noted failure, I mean swear-sayer, decided to stop pretending and left the election cycle. Now we'll never see a political ad where Beto skates in, crushes a representation of Trump's wall, and skates back out to Whataburger. O'Rourke also said he wouldn't be running for Senate, seeing as it's not cool to come back to your home turf skate park after you grinded it with the rich boys. And also like his wife and family or something. The uh, Popeye's chicken sandwich is back and people are pissed. A man was allegedly stabbed to death over the sandwich this past week. My question here is, why didn't the man stab Popeyes' homophobic counterpart, Chick-fil-A? All aside, though, if you're willing to kill for the witch, you deserve it. At a Trump rally, they still have those? <laughs> okay. Republican Senator Rand Paul almost revealed the identity of the government whistleblower behind much of the evidence in the ongoing impeachment investigation. It now seems like Rand, a self-proclaimed constitutionalist, has forgotten how both the law and government work. Well, that's politicians for you. A few days later, Rand then blocked the reinstitution of a law protecting whistleblowers, which originated the actual Constitutional Congress of 1978. 1778. I knew that. Although Massachusetts Senator Dan Hunt would disagree with our wording, we here at Next Week Now would like to bipartisanly call Rand Paul a bitch. Putin is on the hunt for a reliable and Russian version of Wikipedia, ignoring current Russian language version of the site called Wikipedia, because that's the name of Putin's ex, and he doesn't really talk about her anymore. The whole messy breakup, and then Putin murdered her as a traitor to the state. Gotta love Putin. No, really, you, you literally have to. <laughs> Harry Styles is releasing a new album, and his stands are going crazy. You know what that means. Get ready for K-pop Twitter to cancel him for no damn reason. Soon our timelines will be filled with nothing but fan cams of BTS. <laughs> Woohoo. An ABC News anchor claims that the network knew about Jeffrey Epstein three years ago. Well, duh. I think we all knew about him three years ago. We just didn't have the energy to bring him up. Especially since we were dealing with a whole other monster in 2016. Jimmy Fallon is on campus somewhere. He's been all over the place, like West Mall, where the YCT held their Kavanaugh protest, and also Littlefield Fountain, where the Revolutionary Student Front made the fountain red, then later purple. <laughs> Wait, is Fallon feeding off the energy of resentful UT students? Because uh, we got a ton of those, especially right here at this show. Let's just hope we don't see him tonight. No, really, he's, I mean, like, of all the Jimmys on TV, he's like third best even, come on. The NRA is supporting having gun auctions at schools in the U.S. Some may say this is a bad idea, but I say it's a way of bringing the wonders of the Scholastic Book Fair to a new generation. <laughs> they can have the AR-15s in, in the front, in between the front uh, long eraser stand and the chocolate bar scented shaped calendar calculators. Drugs are bad for you, kids. Speaking of books, this week a woman was arrested after turning in her library books two years late, which isn't a crime? Isn't that actually like the right thing to do? Anyway, last season we mentioned a dude who stole a car and returned it because it was filled with overdue library books. So uh, 
43,787 points for uh, Reading Rainbows. Man, this week has had some uh, news, right? News. Yeah. You know, if you say it... <laughs> oh gosh, it's the elves again. If you say it long enough, it uh, loses its meaning. News. 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 Actually, let me switch it up. Points. Yeah, also not a lot of meaning, but I'm still going to say there is one. Well, that's all for uh, what we missed. Now on to what you're not going to miss because you're watching. <laughs>